Hola y bienvenidos a otra lección de Español 2. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to talk about how long you've been doing something or ask somebody else how long they've been doing something. For example, well, in this unit, we've been talking about uh, extracurricular activities, things like band, and orchestra, sports, martial arts. So by the end of this unit, we should be able to say things like, how long have you been a member of the band? And I've been in the band for three years. Or, I've been participating in the Spanish club for one year. Or, I've been sitting in this class trying to learn Spanish for 45 minutes now. Okay, so that's what we're working on this lesson, is saying how long you've been doing something. Now, before we get into that, let me just mention, when, when we learn another language, it's not just word-for-word -word exchanges. It's not just, it's been, you know, you can't just move things that easily across. Otherwise, Google Translate would be perfect. Instead, what we've got is we've got a whole different thoughts going on. Okay, so we can't just flip words and make it mean what we want to say. We've got to understand the concept of what we're trying to say and then learn how to say that in another language. Okay, with that being said, let's now go into the concept of saying how long we've been doing something. Okay. We know that when we talk about what time it is, we say like, que hora es? What is the hour? But tiempo can be used for time or weather. In this case, we're going to be using tiempo to talk about time. Not what hour it is, not what's the hour right now, but time. Okay, let's get, let's get right to it. Okay, if we want to say something like, how... Oh, let me say one more thing first. Also, as we do this, no, I'll tell you later. Okay, if we want to say, how much time does it make, how much time has it been that you've been in the band? Band is a nice short word, easy for me to write. How would you say how much? Do you remember that word? Well, it's cuanto. Cuanto. Cuanto is how much. So if we want to say how much time, how much time has it been, we would say cuanto tiempo, how much time, Okay. Now this is where it gets tricky. Cuanto tiempo hace? Okay. How much time does it make that you are a member of the band? Okay. Eres miembro de la banda. And remember, when we have a question, this word gets an accent, the cuanto gets an accent. Okay. Cuanto tiempo hace que eres miembro de la banda? Now, you might recognize right off the bat that this sentence, this phrase right here, eres miembro de la banda, it can exist all on its own. You are a member of the band. Okay, but what we're doing here is we're saying how much time does it make that you are a member of the band? We've got this conjunction kind of hooking up these two I got schoolhouse rock in my head. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? So we're hooking up cuanto tiempo hace que, I'm sorry, cuanto tiempo hace, and eres miembro de la banda. So how much time does it make that you are a member of the band? These are our key phrases here. In this lesson, almost every question we're going to do is going to have this cuanto tiempo hace que. How much time does it make that and you might be sitting there going, how much time does it make? That doesn't make sense. Okay, that's what I was saying earlier about it's a different, it's a mind shift of how we talk about things when we do a foreign language. Have you ever been, I don't know, Circle K, you're getting your 79 cent drink, and they're counting back the change to you, you pay with the 20. They're like, let's see, 84, 82, 26 cents makes one, one, two, three, four makes five, five makes 10, and 10 makes 20. Okay. When you count off those numbers like that, you're using that make, like this makes this, this makes this. Two plus two makes four. Three plus seven makes 10. That's what we're doing here. That's why we're using the phrase, or the word makes. Is that, that's the best way as an English speaker that I can understand this phrase. How much time does it make that, and one more minute makes an hour, and three more minutes, and three more hours makes a day. How much time does it make that you are a member of the band? Okay. Cuánto tiempo hace que estudias el español? Cuánto tiempo hace que 
um, lees el libro? ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que conoces a Pablo? How long does it make that you know Pablo? ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que conoces a Pablo? Okay, so that's how we ask the questions. Now let's look at how we respond with an answer. Our answer, typically, as we're learning this, when we're new at this, the easiest way to do it, how much time does it make? Well, it makes, and then we'll have our unit of time. This is going to be our clock. Ase, time, K, there's our conjunction, and then we'll have the rest of the sentence. So, if I'm saying, ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que practicas artes marciales? I can say, hace um, un mes, one month. There's our unit of time. Hace un mes que practico las artes marciales. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que practicas las artes marciales? Hace, our unit of time, que. Hace un mes, que. And then we've just got our regular present tense sentence. Because it's in the present tense. You're saying up to this point, at this moment, it makes one month that I study it, that I practice it. Okay, so it's a present tense conjugation. Let's look at a few more. Or let's, uh, let's try a few more examples. Okay, up at the top here, I have a few examples. Soy miembro del Club de Español. I'm a member of the Spanish Club. Hago gimnasia. Ensayo con la banda. Tomo lecciones de artes marciales. Participo en el coro. Asisto a las reuniones del Club de Fotografía. Okay, so there are a few examples of us there of what we're going to be talking about. So I am a member of the Spanish club. We want to be able to ask the question, how long have you been a member of the Spanish club? And then come up with a response. It's been, and then a period of time, that I'm a member of the Spanish club. So let's look at our, our modelo, our example, our, our ejemplo. Juego ajedrez. I play chess. Juego ajedrez. So we want to ask, how long have you been playing chess? Well, we're saying, ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? There's our little phrase that we talked about earlier. Oops. There's our phrase that we were talking about earlier. How much time does it make that? And then simply, how long does it make that I play chess? Or you, I'm sorry, you play chess? And then we come up with a response. It makes, there's our period of time, that I play chess. It makes two years that I play chess or I've been playing chess for two years, is what you would say in English. In Spanish, it makes two years that. Hace dos años que juego ajedrez. Okay, let's try one. Soy miembro del Club de Español. Soy miembro del Club de Español. What would our question be? How would you ask someone, how would you ask someone, how long have you been a member of the Spanish club? Okay, our first few words there. Always the same thing. Cuánto, question mark accent, cuánto tiempo hace que? Doing that almost every time. There's our conjunction. How much time does it make that? You are a member of the Spanish club. It is miembro del Club de Español. Sloppy writing, but oh well. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que eres miembro del Club de Español? And I've got to end it with a question mark there. And there you go, there's your question. Okay, now we've got to come up with our response. We want to say it makes Come up with the next one here. It makes, that's our first word, and then what goes in the blank? Let's say it's one year. It makes one year, un año, que. 
it makes one year that. And then what comes next? Soy miembro. It makes one year that I am a member. And if you wanted to add the club de español, that's totally good. Okay, let's try another one here. Participo en el coro. Participo en el coro. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, so if you want to ask someone, how long have you been participating in the choir? Well, how do you start that off? Well, ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? And then you participate in the choir? Participas en el coro. Once again, it's always cuánto tiempo hace que? As, as we're getting started here anyway, it's always going to be this phrase. And then the present tense, you participate in the choir. The response, what's your first word in the response? Cuánto tiempo hace que? Your first word in the response is? Hace. What comes next? The time. Hace, uh, let's say, two years. Hace dos años. And what comes after the period of time? Makes two years. Que. Hace dos años que. And then the next phrase is your regular present tense. Participo en el coro. Hace dos años que participo en el coro. Okay. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? Hace time que. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? Hace time que. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que? Hace time que. All right, let's wrap this up today. I'm going to give you this little menu again of different examples up here at the top. Okay, those of you that are my students, here comes your assignment. Your assignment is to ask a question and an answer on one of these. So just pick one, ask the question, how long have you been doing this? And then give a response. I've been doing it for this long. Okay, we'll work more with these in class. Buena suerte. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que um, hacemos este video? ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que ves el video? Hace, no sé, I don't know how long this video is. Um, I'm guessing maybe 10 to 12 minutes. Hace 10 minutos. Que estamos aquí. Señor Norton, ¿cuánto tiempo hace que enseñas el español? Uy, hace muchos años que enseño el español. Señor Norton, ¿cuánto tiempo hace que vives en Arizona? Hace 10 años que vivo en Arizona. All right, there are a couple examples to wind it up. Gracias por escuchar. Buena suerte. Ciao.